Jamaica Superman Wagwan, what I want to all of my nice and decent people out there, to all of my viewers and subscribers, thank you very much for coming and visiting me here on Renegade Crew TV. You know who it is, that is Super, the Renegade Media, I'm, on, I'm not going nowhere. So, I want everybody who just come in on the channel, I want you to go ahead and hit that like button, hit the uh, comment button, subscribe button, and you know how the thing go. Anyway, today, today's all the first day i'm gonna go ahead and talk about casino and the reason why i say first the first day because it seems like as long as this artist here continue with the thing where my go on with uh, continue with the lyrics um, and the song them and drop regularly it look like he might go be one of the artists where, we can look, where everybody can look upon um, you know, forget a vibe. You know, forget the dance hall vibe. You know, you know the thing though. Anyway, right? Um, no, it's been a big, big thing right now talking about it because you know the man I get a buzz, and he might get a buzz because of some of the antics that he might go on with. No, we know what that is. We, we see the man with the, you know, um, in Kingston or Clarendon or whatever. And the man uh, wear full suit, uh, um, the Superman outfit, costume, so to speak, you know? And my walk around with it. But it goes for the song that he has. He has a song called Superman. So if you don't know about it, go ahead and go check it out. You can look on him, Viva Page or whatever, Casino. K A S E E N O Casino, right? And I, my thing on it, where everybody I talk about him, I look like a fool, and him a this and him, him a that. You know, um, to me, music is music is an art form, and he have to go ahead and get the eyes on it. The reason how he do that is to use him gimmick. Other artists out there do the same thing before him and he's not the first one to do it. You know, uh, he won't be the last. It will be... You have white artists who do it, you have hip-hop artists who do it, you have African artists, you have... You know, um, dance artists who do it before Vibes Cartel do it with the... With the um, bleaching thing and use a tattoo and all them thing there and whatever artists are come out and I, they might do the same thing as a matter of fact casino do the same thing the only thing we don't know about the tattoo but him bleach him skin card um casino did black before and him did that go on with the with the um the music for a while and nothing that go on for them nothing did that go on for them at all um and see what i'm doing going on in ball laughing here here here, here. and after i'm ball laughing here you see the cho i can't talk man anyway um in ball laughing here and then you two plots at the side you know look coming like them plots or dreads or whatever and and you have the two of them uh them bungle up together you know on each side of your head and come out that way 
and you see him come up with a whole heap of different antics and things like that and he wasn't the only one who do that because I remember when you remember when um, Alkaline I vendetta from them and I remember what vendetta you remember what Alkaline did do when he first come out you know so some people they have they have to use a gimmick they have to use something to promote themselves and there's nothing wrong to doing that yo know, that's what he's doing go ahead and promote himself and you might get the eyes on him so all you have to do now is just go ahead and keep up the keep up the lyrics and keep up the thing and then you know it might, it might go on, it might go on with the um, thing that like it's supposed to be going on with. Uh, that's, you know, you love, you love what you do so much that you can go to the street, in the street, and look away. You love what you do so much that you will make a fool of yourself, so to speak. And nothing wrong with that. You know, nothing wrong with that at all. Cause I see it like this. I just follow me here, right? You have to respect somebody to love what they're gonna do, what they're doing, so much that they will go out in the street, right? And risk ridicule, risk shame, put on them pride, risk. Um, getting hurt, risk, risk them life and limb and so on and so forth, right? Just nobody say anything when you see the Jehovah Witness them go out and, you know, nobody say anything when you see the people them, well, some people say things. And I guess that's the same thing, you know, some people are saying things about the man in the casino. I, you know, one thing we don't want to talk about too. One thing we don't want to talk about. I mean, yeah, you know, certain, certain vloggers or podcasters or whatever out there. And I'm at, as a man, I look for another man and I talk about the man looks. I want to go ahead and say this from the bottom of my heart. There's nothing wrong with you being gay. If you're gay, you can't come out of your closet. You can't go ahead and tell everybody, say, you're gay, uh, rare, 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 rare. right? But if you can't look upon a man, right, and talk about how oh, him look ugly and this and that, I would have to go ahead and call you straight back to me. And the reason why I may have to call you about the man is because if I understand if you look at a man and 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 you say, yo, the man fat, or the man this or the man that, but you can't look at a man and talk about how the man ugly. Because if you can't look at a man and talk about how the man ugly, then you can't look at him and talk about how he look nice. You can't look at the next man and talk about how he look nice. You know, certain people can come out and say, hey, you know, in very strong and in masculinity, no man, you're a Batman, straight up. Anyway, move on from that. Um, may I forgive Casino respect? You know, may I forgive him that? Because what am I do? You know, um, you can't knock a man also. Certain things are going on in the um, COVID time. And people have to go out and go make their money and get seen in a certain way. The only way you can do it is social media. And the only way you can get a look in you know, the social media is either you drop, drop a video all the time. Three, four, five, six, seven video a day. Right? And I don't know, everybody have time to do them thing there. Right? Or, if it's not that, guess what? Guess what you have to know? You have to go out and... You are, you are do them you are do the thing you are promoting him and promoting video on the song where you have. You know? Cause if you go upon if you go upon him Viva page, if you go upon him YouTube page or whatever it is, you know the man the man come out yesterday and today him have him have almost hundred thousand view upon it. Nothing wrong with that man. You start yesterday you have, you gotta look at it like this. 
his marketing, his promotion, and he have to do catch up. Popcorn come out from where they are, you know, from 19 all long. You know, all these uh, whole heap of people come out from 19 all long, them him, him do catch up, and at the same time when him do catch up, he's doing it on his own, and he's not 19. Most of the youth, them, when you're 19, you have 900 friends, right? And all you have to do is just make one blouse and skirt text, and all 900 friends get the text. And then watch the video two times, you get over, you, you get almost 2,000 um, look, and then listen to the song two times. Then listen to it two times, and then I'm going to tell five more of them friends where you don't know. And that's how that go on. But for a man who look like him in his parties, you know, look like him 35, I mean, I, I mean, I knock him, I mean, I knock him for that. I mean, I knock him for that. You know, because you love it, if you love a thing, you love a thing. And you have to do what you have to do. Nothing wrong with that. Because, you know, the money out there, the money I have to make. You know, rib like that DMX say, ribs is touching. The dog them, um, dog them not for them. The dog them not for eat. You know? My sugar man. So anyway, like, you know, Popcorn said that and Tommy Lee said that, yo, dog them not for eat, man. You know? So, while everybody's out there talking about how oh, a man I look a certain way and this and that, man, load the man, man, let the man get his time. Everybody forget them time. When, when God give you, Jesse said that, Jesse said, yo, if God give you time, nobody can take that. Nobody. Because God give you that. So guess what you have to do? You have to go out and go get it and then go um, do what you have to do and stand up on it. You know? So it go on. Anyway, go ahead and hit down the link down below. If you're an independent artist and you want to go ahead and put out your music and you don't have, you have to worry about um, the selector them or producer them who not give a, a chance for voice but I read them. Yo, you can go in the studio, you can, um, you have a computer, go ahead and get this your kid. Hit the link down below, you can download um, a free BAW, which is a digital audio workstation. Something like Cakewalk from Band Lab. You can go ahead and um, download that on your computer. You can download it on your phone. You can put some rhythm together and you go ahead and you DJ your song them and you put it up on YouTube. And while you put it up on YouTube, you can go ahead and go to DistroKid and you hit the link down below and you get a, a, a discount on DistroKid. You pay a one time and it's for the whole year and everything good, man. And Anyway, go ahead and hit it and uh, hit the link down below. And uh, go ahead and go check out my music page. That is super. I'm just drop a new song called Rainfall. Can't see me tears when the rain fall, especially when the rain fall. Anyway, you can't go ahead and hear the rest of the song with how it's song. Uh, oh my god, uh, oh my flow. And like always, I want everybody to live good, be good, and goodbye. Bravo, and with the gun in the safe, superheroes who fly with the cape.